Can I beat an indigo disc nuzlocke only using shiny starters? If you missed the first part, it's gonna be in the description, but as you can see, we're back again in the indigo disc. We got absolutely obliterated, and we had to approach the starter shiny nuzlocke more strategically because there's not a lot of starter shinies, and we're gonna need all of them if we wanna beat this DLC. We immediately start the DLC by getting our shiny starters over again. The first shiny starter we got was the shiny Charmander. We then decided to follow it up with a shiny Turtwig. Oh man, look at the shiny. This shiny looks pretty amazing. I'm not gonna lie. I just wish the third evolution looked a lot better, but hey, I'm gonna talk about it when it's on screen again. So we can go ahead and add Tersh to the team. And you guys know dang well I'll be using the freaking shiny encounter sandwiches for these videos, especially if I'm able to use it in the post game. So we use a fire encounter sandwich and we're able to encounter the shiny Liden. Pretty awesome shiny Pokemon. I mean, the color scheme on the shiny Liden is just so awesome. Oh, but we're not done yet. Like I said, we need a strong team. So the next Pokemon we decided to get was the shiny Chimchar char over here in the snow biome i don't know what's up with this pokemon's catch rate but it took a couple balls but hey we were able to get it eventually and we were able to add in flame to our team we kept traveling around in the snow biome and eventually we were able to encounter the shiny score bunny man our team was looking kind of fire and i mean that literally we only have fire types so we're gonna have to swap it up a little bit you know you know potentially cool down a bit over here in the savannah biome even though it doesn't make sense if we're in the savannah biome trying to cool down anyways we ate a water encounter sandwich looking for a water type and literally on the border of the savannah biome we encountered a shiny poplio uh i mean primarina is a pretty decent pokemon the only downside to primarina is their stats they have a very high special attack but their speed is really bad in most cases they're gonna go last and unless you have trick room on your team it's kind of hard to utilize this pokemon we were in this dirty lake and we finally got the freaking pokemon that i was looking for in the first place the shiny totodile now this was my starter for generation two so being able to get a freaking shiny for of this pokemon man i was over here doing the duggy no lie right after i caught this pokemon i felt like amos i am that guy but as you can imagine, we're not done. Since we're only trying to look for starter shiny Pokemon, once we catch all the starters, we don't have the shiny hunt anymore. We were looking around in the snow bomb and finally we encountered the shiny Oshawa. As you can imagine, it's like hour 15 by now. So us being able to get the sea otter right here kind of made me excited. Yes, sir. It's about goddamn time, yo. I've been looking for this Pokemon for so long, bro. I'm gonna need you to get in the ball, yo. Oh, but we're not done. You also got the Piplup. Even though I really hate Empoleon. Empoleon is really hard to use, man. Just, just in general. It's a really cool Pokemon, but its potential just sucks, man. And come on now. You made it this far. You already know what I'm gonna need you to do. Go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe for my motherfucker pain and suffering. And you gotta leave a comment. What is your favorite starter Pokemon of all time? And what shiny starter do you like the most? Yeah, it may sound generic, but when it comes to starter shiny Pokemon, I'm gonna have to go with Greninja. And last, but most certainly not least, we got the shiny tour trick and after catching this pokemon i was done bro we got most of the starter shiny pokemon so theoretically speaking if we approach this nuzlocke correctly we won't have to catch any more shiny starter pokemon for a long time that being said let's go ahead and evolve these bad boys it took a little bit of time all we needed to do was level all the pokemon that we got up once for them to get their evolutions and you already know i had a fanboy a little bit man we got the shiny charmander evolving into the shiny charmeleon into the shiny charizard we got the shiny turtwig evolving to the shiny Grotile and to the shiny Torterra. Then, of course, my motherfucker favorite starter Pokemon, uh, maybe not of all time, but right now at least, the shiny Totodile, evolving to Croconaw. Then, we get the shiny Feraligator. You guys see the back of his fins. Dude looking like a Dragon-type Pokemon, but he's a Water-type. Y'all ever notice how Feraligator looked like Katakuri? Let me find out my Feraligator likes some donuts. And Inflamed, of course, we're gonna evolve that bad boy. We get the Monferno and then evolve it again, and we got... Yes, sir. You guys see it. The Infernape. This Pokemon is most likely going to carry us. From here, I took a freaking break because it's annoying leveling up these Pokemon. But when I got back on, we finally got enough XP to evolve Charchick into a Combuskin. And then we got Charchick to turn into a freaking Blaziken. I'm not going to lie. Look, I'm sorry for saying this Blaziken, but imagine Blaziken having a chicken restaurant, bro. That would be the firest logo ever. Hey, Otherwise, are you really going to bring up chicken, man? You really going to make a restaurant out of chicken? You think that's funny? Huh? You think that's freaking funny? I'd have kicked you right now, you black mother. Oh god dang! Oh god! Oh alright, look, we're we're evolving Oshawa to do what? And then we're getting the Samurai, the most useless Pokemon in existence. This Pokemon.
Pokemon looked so cool. It had the potential to be so freaking awesome. But of course, they like just messed up his freaking evolution. Like, bro, I'm sorry. It sounds like I'm crying right now. But Blaze could just hit me with the meanest Blaze kick ever, bro. As you can tell, I'm trying to rush through these. I'm trying as fast as possible, man. But it takes a little bit of time to evolve these Pokemon. We got Scorch to evolve into a Rabu. And then the Rabu to evolve into a Cinderace. Lishi evolved into Torcat and then evolved into the Incineroar. And then we got a Piplup to evolve into a Primplup. And then Peelup evolved into the Empoleon. Lipo evolved into Bryon. I had never said a Pokemon's name in my life. And then we got the Primarina. But uh, as you can see on screen, these are all of the shiny Pokemon that we acquired. It's about time that we assembled our team and started taking down these elite tests. And a lineup that I went with was Shanene, Tersh, Charchik, Inflame, Toady, and Leshy. Finally, we can go ahead and sign up for the BB League. Hi! Look, okay, I'm sorry for the other video, you know, taking advantage of you and telling you that I have to measure your BBC to see if you're able to be in the BB League. But hey, today's a new day. We don't gotta go over that. Everybody knows what happens here. Okay, look, don't even worry about it. You're already signed up. Wait, so you're telling me Kieran doesn't have to come here and approve it? Hey, I hear you guys. Like I said, this girl doesn't even work here. Why are you still here? Okay, Kieran, goddamn. Bro, what am I supposed to do, man? My life's purpose is to sit here for 20 hours a day like I said, man. Like, it only makes sense if I talk to people. Shut up. So this time, we're actually going to go against the Steel Elite member first. <laughs> Even though this is probably one of the hardest, we're doing it. And it took a significant amount of time putting the moves and everything on our freaking Pokemon, but we got it done. We decided to put a Choice Scarf on Charizard, a Loaded Dice on Torterra. You already know what kind of sets I'm going with. And this time around, you see it. I have a couple Ability Capsules and Ability Patches. If you don't know what Ability Patches do, if you put this on your Pokemon, it allows them to have their hidden ability. So theoretically speaking, you can build the ultimate Pokemon. I mean, you still have to breed it to have the perfect IVs. But hey, you can have the most freaking awesome Pokemon in existence. And we only have three of these. So we have to use them wisely. I decided to use an ability patch on Combuskin. As you can see, we now have speed boost on Charchick. When we decide to use Protect, we'll automatically get a speed boost and be able to be faster than everybody on the field. Unfortunately, as as you can see right here, we have a minus attack nature on our Charchik. I had to fix that. I had a couple mints. As you can see, I had the Lonely Mint, the Naughty Mint, and the Timid Mint. So I decided to use the Naughty Mint, which means if this Blaziken gets hit by a special attacking move, it's probably gonna get packed up. But if we don't get hit, it won't even matter. We put a Life Orb on that bad boy. And finally, we're going to start the Elite Test. Hi, do I do? Wait, 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 wait. Wait a second, wait a second. Why is your voice so different? Oh. Oh, you're talking about why I don't talk like this anymore? Well, I was just doing that to be funny, but I don't think it's funny no more. So I'm just gonna use my normal voice. Hey, hey, yo, Kawaji, Kawaji, yo, I know you hear me, hello. Dang, do you guys hear anything? Do you hear that? Yeah, I think I do. Ah, God dang, yo, I had to get out the Pokeball myself. You hear me talking to you, bro. Oh my God, what's wrong with him? Kawaji, I was trying to let you know, man. I'm off the Perkies. We're throwing a crazy part in my Pokeball right now. Man, you don't even want to know what's happening in there. Oh my God, why is he glowing? Why is he flickering like that? What's happening? Oh, man, Duwaji, I think, I think I'm evolving. Oh, oh my God. Whoa, it looks like Rhydon is about to become a black dragon or something. Yo, Duwaji, I got to show you something, man. Get on my back, get on my back. Oh my God, are we flying right now? What's happening? Come on, man. I don't know why you're so surprised I was flying in the intro of this game. Well, the reason why I'm surprised is because we weren't able to freaking fly on you the entire base game. <laughs> I'm going to be real with you. I was out the perkies in that intro. That's why. All right, Duwaji, that's enough of that. Man, I'm ready to battle you. Do you think you're really ready to face me, though? I mean, my team is pretty stacked. Yeah, I don't know if I'm ready. So I did a lot of theory crafting, thing, looking at this girl's movesets, everything, because I do not want to lose another starter shiny run, and I gotta make sure that you guys see a decent amount of the freaking DLC and show you what these Pokemon can do. I took a lot of advice that you guys gave in the comment section and started using some competitive movesets. The thing about that is that it takes a ton of time just to build these Pokemon up. I'm talking EV training, giving them nature mints, and equipping them with the right items accordingly. But this is the team that we're gonna go with. We have Shanene with the choice scarf, and Flame with the choice specs, Charchick in the back, ready to sweep late game. You already know. Tersh with the loaded dice and the shell smash combo. Man, this Pokemon is gonna be a beast. And Toadie with the leftovers. We could have put Life Orb on them, but I wasn't really sure if I wanted to use Life Orb on the Nuzlocke. All right, god dang it, yo. We just trying to see you battle with these freaking Pokemon. Let's start this battle. We we immediately start the battle against Army, 
Armie or whatever. My name is Armies. My name is Armors. Oh shit, I don't even know my name. It's like a dyslexic dude is voicing over me. And we immediately gotta go against the Duck Trio and the Skarmory. We use Vacuum Wave to outspeed the Duck Trio. Yeah, they. Oh my god, that dude fast as hell. I, can, I couldn't even see. Yo, can we get a replay on that? God dang, even the replay is fast. Inferno to anime character. Being able to knock down the Duck Trio down to his focus sash. And like I said in the beginning, I have a choice scarf on the Charizard, meaning I'm able to outspeed everything on the field and use a heat wave. But Skarmory is able to survive because they have the sturdy ability. The next Pokemon that comes out is Empoleon. And this Pokemon has the ability to destroy both of these Pokemon on the freaking field right now. So I decided to use a vacuum wave to outspeed, hit Empoleon for 60%, and follow it up with a choice scarf heat wave. Now the next Pokemon that comes out is Scizor and Reuniclus. I know that this Reuniclus is a psychic type, which means they're most likely going to focus on Inflamed. And Inflamed is forced to use Vacuum Wave. So I decide to swap Inflamed out for Leshy. Yes, sir. It's your boy Leshy, the big wrestler. Ah! Oh, my God. Yo, Duwachi, you gonna, you gonna switch me out with some freaking Stone Rocks, yo? Come on, man. Hey, Shanae, I'm gonna need you to hit that Heat Wave. Yes, sir. You already know I got you, son. Heat Wave. Oh, come on, bro. Shanae, are you serious, bro? You gonna miss the four-time super effective Heat Wave on the Scizor? Come on, yo. Hey, yo, my fault, cuz. And the stupid-ass Reuniclus about to use the freaking trick room. We about to be the slowest on the field now, yo. Hey, don't even worry about it, Shanae. I got you. Slapped his ass. Yo, you really gonna do that to me? I can't do anything. Yes, sir. Dang, I was able to kill him through his berry. <laughs> <laughs> that dude weak as hell. Okra berry? Or like okra berry? I turned your ass into okra. Hey, Shanae, it's not over yet. You know damn well it's not over yet. I'm terrestrializing my Metagross into a freaking steel type right now. Well, guess what? I'm terrestrializing Charizard into a freaking fire type. Wait, did I terrestrialize second? Oh, man. That means... Yes, sir. I'm the fastest on the field hitting you with the psychic. Oh, man. Oh, Duwaji. Duwaji, I'm about to die, yo. Oh, my God. That psychic hurt. Oh, the Metagross is about to hit me when it's in the head, bud. Miss. Damn, that Metagross, sorry as hell. You missed his bad head, bud. Ha <laughs> ha. That means I get the Limit West Boom. You already know what that means. Yo, thank you, Leshy. I'm able to destroy him. Get out of here. Damn. My Pokemon put it in the pain right now. I, I, look, I'm over here just sitting in the back like it's the anime. I'm not telling them to do anything. They just, they just doing it. Leshy's able to hit that Reuniclus with the Darkest Lariat. And oh, what is he doing right now? I'm not going down without a fight, you stupid purple-haired troglodyte. Yo, yo, you really thought that was gonna kill me? Come on now. I got hella special defensive stats. Yo, Duwaji, go ahead and put my stats on screen right now. Oh, no. Oh, my God. And just like that, we beat her, bro. Oh, my God. Everything had to go right for us to not be able to lose a freaking Pokemon during that battle. But looks like you did it, Duwaji. You destroyed all of my Pokemon. And you had no idea, but I was doing a Nuzlocke, too. So, you know what that means? I must now end my life. What day is it? What time is it? Damn, two days before my birthday, too. And just like that, she walks away, and yeah, she lost a freaking hardcore Pokemon Nuzlocke, so that means she can't be a Pokemon trainer no more. Hey, don't worry about it, Duwaji. <laughs> Look on the bright side. You're still in this, and everybody watching is gonna be able to watch you beat me. <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna happen. Looks like you're gonna be the next person who dies. Oh my god, yep. I don't know how we're gonna do it, bro, but we have to go against Drayden next. On the bright side, all the preparation was definitely worth it, because now we can just jump into the next battle and hope Hopefully, we'll be able to utilize our Pokemon and be able to destroy everybody on the field. But before then, we have to do the Elite Trial. And these people have some pretty decent Pokemon. So we're gonna have to utilize our team to be able to win these battles. Luckily for the first dude, all we had to do was do the combination of freaking fighting type Pokemon to go against their rock type Pokemon, and we were able to defeat them with ease. Char Chicken and Flame is kind of a crazy combo, especially with Char Chick having the speed boost. And overall, they just put in that pain, man. Char Chick was so strong, he was able to destroy a Duong with one Brick Break. And Sand Slash, he's four times weak to that, so yeah, it was pretty much smooth sailing. These Pokemon could barely do any damage to us, and we really showed, yeah, you were gonna say, I'm not gonna say it in third person because that would be weird, but you're the boss. That's what you were gonna say, right? No, I, w I was gonna say we really showed those trainers they suck, but hey, that works too. Now, Duwaji, you're not gonna say my trainers suck, bro. They were obviously putting in that pain. You're just built different, man. And I'm gonna show you, actually. You know what? <laughs> you ain't about to win this battle, bro. You're not. So we immediately start the battle against Drayden. He's in out a freaking Dragonite and a Flygon. Like I said, these Pokemon are freaking super strong. But we send out Leshy and Toady. You may be wondering, hmm, how are we gonna win with this combination of Pokemon? Well, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know either. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but we're gonna try. We 
immediately start the battle by faking out the Dragonite, taking a breaking sweep, which barely does any damage at all, and Dragon Dancing. Meaning we're gonna be faster than everybody on the field. And when we use Ice Fang on the Flygon, we're able to destroy him. Dragonite uses Tailwind, which makes his entire team two times faster, but we decided to keep Dragonite on the field and Will-O-Wisp him. Meaning he's gonna do half damage, all of his attacking moves are physical attacks. So theoretically speaking, if we keep this Pokemon on the field to be useless and barely do any damage we should be able to set up on this entire team but skeptile comes out now this pokemon is a beast and it has the ability to destroy toady so i'm forced to swap him out immediately and i swap out leshy to swap lipo out we take a leaf storm and we survive but now their special attack is halved i know that skeptile right here has weakness policy meaning if i hit him he's gonna have two times attack and special attack so i made sure to keep weakening him when the skeptile uses leaf storm i made sure to have lipo out so he was able to take that attack dragonite uses a ice spinner but of course he crits me wow okay i'm pretty sure turks would have been strong enough to be able to take that because i mean i'm physical physically defensive but it doesn't even matter we swap lipo right back in and we decide to fake out the dragonite and be able to wombo combo the dragonite with the moon blast now kingdra comes out this skeptile is literally useless he can't do anything so we decide to just stay in as kingdra uses a rain dance and destroy them with one moon blast holy smokes damn yo what's happening it, bro you got a bunch of shitty ass starters you lost to me last episode how is this even happening yo i'm not gonna lie i don't know i'm not complaining though haxorus now comes out haxorus dragon dances as skeptile uses a leaf storm doing a decent amount of damage to for alligator but like i said he's very defensive so we decided to use dragon dance and we we're able to use moon blast on the haxorus almost killing it but unfortunately this haxorus is the fastest thing on the field and has the ability to put in that pain but instead of doing a move they decide to use dragon dance Meaning, when we dodge the Leaf Storm, we're able to kill the Hatchers with a Moon Blast. This Skeptile, he's almost at the lowest special attack he could possibly have. So when Archilodon comes out, and I Tarasalize this big dragon into a freaking dragon type, you already know it's over, yo. I'm about to win right now. I got stamina on this, all that. We're able to outspeed him with Feraligator and use an Ice Fang. But hey, that raises my defense, which means I'm able to take another attack if I wanted to whole time. What the? I got flinched yes sir meaning lipo is able to get the moon blast without taking an electro shot oh man this isn't fair man you got me spamming leaf storm over and over again i'm about to do like 10 damage to these water type pokemon exactly meaning we're able to use the ice fang and destroy the skeptile in one hit what the yo duwaji you was not putting in this much pain the last episode yo if y'all haven't seen the last episode hit that top right on the eye you already know but hey i, just, I gotta give you my props man like you really put in that pain bro i'm kind of proud of you i'm not proud of him he's just a purple hair punk he want to be me so bad you saw that i had purple hair first what are you talking about i had purple hair in the other video i don't care duwaji when you gotta go against me it's over man i'm telling you man Kurt, shut your bitch ass up <laughs> oh uh, yo wh why you slap me like that yo cuz bro shut up unfortunately we did lose a pokemon during this even though it was a freaking crit like bro dragonite really bro are you serious you really had to do me like that bro so unfortunately we had to put that pokemon in a death box but hey we're not done we got a couple more elite tests you guys thought i was gonna end the video nah we end this nah saying and you guys get this elite trial okay like all i gotta do is like make a sandwich even though this like this guy want to be a food war so bad and all that but like bro wait speaking of food wars crispin how did your audition go bruh look this probably won't make sense to you guys because i don't know how the order of these videos when they're gonna come out but bruh the last episode i quit being a pokemon trainer so so I could audition for Food Wars, but I went there and I made them a, the craziest Spanish sandwich they ever had. But they said, bruh, okay, that's pretty fire, but what else can you make? And I said, shoot, I can make a jalapeno chorizo and onion with the chili sauce and the mustard sandwich. Gave that to them. They said it was fire, but like, what else could I make? And I was like, damn, bro, I came from Pokemon. All I know how to make is curry and, and sandwiches, bro. Like, you really gonna put that against me? You know, like, that's kind of crazy. So... It looks like I'm back in Pokemon again, even though I wanted to change animes, but it's whatever, bro. Dang, that, that, that was actually kind of sad. I kind of feel bad, man. But of course, we just go ahead and gather up all the ingredients that we needed, and we make him the sandwich again, and yeah. Who cares about that? It's time to go against Crispin. He immediately sends out Talonflame and Rotom, and we send out Char Chicken Toadie. He immediately uses Brave Bird with Talonflame, but we're able to stay in and use a Rock Slide, being able to kill the Talonflame in one 
one hit, but unfortunately I had life orb on Charchik, which means our Blaziken dies. On the bright side, Toadie's able to get a free Dragon Dance up because the Rotom was flinched. We swap in Flamed in, and Executor uses Protect as we try to use Ice Fang and a Heat Wave. Fortunately, our Heat Wave had enough power to be able to destroy the Rotom, so we didn't get punished for it. In the next turn, the Camera Up comes out, and we're able to use Waterfall on that, one shotting that and using Heat Wave to destroy the Executor. Let's go. Now the Magmortar and the Blaziken comes out, and I already know this Pokemon is gonna Terrasilize. Yeah, yeah, you already know I'm to rationalize into a fire type right now on my Blaziken. You already know how it do over here. We keeping it south side. Yo, what the? Yo, did you just one shot me with a waterfall in the sun, bruh? Oh my, this dude built different, bruh. What the hell? Hell yeah, I'm off the Berkies. I did two dragon dances. You already know I was gonna one shot you, boy. We take a psychic from Magmortar, but that doesn't do enough damage to take out our Shenane. I'd hope so. It's at 100% HP. Meaning, were you able to use a air slash and a waterfall? Yo, hold up. Let me eat my berry first before before you hit me with that. I'm not playing, I'm not playing. Uh. Oh, oh, yes, ah, yeah. Why you hit me so hard? And just like that, we beat Crispin. Yeah. Yo, why you had to do that to me, bro? You give me, made me cry in two videos back to back, bro. I'm using the fry pan to fucking hide my face, yo. Yo, like, oh my God, bro. Crispin, come on, bro. You can't cry in two videos back to back, man. I don't know what to do no more, man. It's really hard, bro. I wanted to be in Food Wars, but I don't know enough dishes to be in Food Wars. And I don't want to be a Pokemon because I keep losing to you, bro. Like, I don't know what to do anymore, bro. It's hard out here, bro. Bro, if you don't know enough dishes, but they think your food is fire, why don't you just learn more dishes? You know what? You got a point. Maybe I should do that. Come on, Magmortar. Let's make some new food. But yeah, as you can see, we lost one Pokemon, so unfortunately we're gonna have to bounce Charchik, but we only lost two starter Pokemons throughout all of those battles. These are double battles that are super hard, but the fact that we made it this far and you haven't liked and subscribed means that you need to do it now, especially if you're new to the channel. I'll be posting videos like this every freaking day. You know how hard it is? You know how many hours we be spending on these videos, bro? I'd appreciate if you leave the like, especially if I made you laugh at least once during this video. But yeah, there's gonna be new Pokemon videos coming out in the next couple days, so make sure you come check my channel if you want to watch some Pokemon Shiny Nuzlocke. But yeah, we actually put in that pain, and I'm very surprised and glad that we were able to pull it off, man. It took a lot of prep just for these Pokemon to be able to put in this pain, but it was worth it in the end. But that's it. Thank you for watching.